how can we power design for vision loop lights with a standard battery pack here's some design for vision loops with a 5 volt light that most hygienists and dentists use we're going to connect in this video this these glasses these loops with the light up to a standard 5 volt charger pack used for f cell phones and the only thing we're going to change is this crossover cable and we are going to use a standard Android USB cable for this experiment. Stay tuned video on how to test your designs for vision components so you know which thing will maybe not be working before you uh, order try to order parts. Uh, the other thing is you may want to rig something up in emergency to get you through the day so you can order the parts and wait for the parts to come maybe save you some emergency freight so what we're going to discuss in this video is how to test each of these components um, so potential failure items are this cable right here that runs uh, to these glasses here. So the cable could fail these connectors on each side. There could be a, a problem with them. And then uh, the other thing is this, this power supply could also fail. This is a, a power pack, a high quality power pack that is there's an 18 roughly it's a little bit different uh, size battery but there's a uh, standard lithium-ion battery um, similar to an 8, 18650 but a little smaller that's in this in this pack here of course uh, this thing is really high quality it's um, got a gauge on it it's got there is standard um, a uh, micro USB uh, connection and uh, it could fail the battery could go bad the connectors could go bad you could drop it which happens a lot and it this thing could fail and you're sort of out of luck so how can we tell whether this thing is failed uh, so let's let's discuss how we could test the light here this light here uh, with it with with uh, just n nothing else that's provided by uh, designs for vision now just because I've tested this doesn't mean that you're not going to blow up your stuff so here's where I'm going to warn you you could blow up this light if you do this wrong However, I think they did a reasonably good job of design here on this light. It's for high quality light. They've, uh, they've, I think they've, they've designed some protection in, but I do not know for a fact. You could blow up your stuff. So what we do here is we, we have soldered uh, a crossover cable here in this configuration. And so we're basically reversing uh, negative and positive here in this configuration and then we're going to power up instead of using this connect this cable here we're going to use our own uh, micro this is the same kind of cable that you can find on uh, for for the uh, Android phones so this this kind of cable here is the same as an Android phone but I had to engineer this crossover here. Well, we want to make sure we don't blow this thing up with this crossover, which I don't believe you'll blow up if you if you mix your crossover. I believe that you could just plug plug in a standard USB in this connection here and you'd be okay, but <laughs> I don't think you should do it. Uh, 
what I did was, what I do just to make sure that um, my reverse cable is working properly, I hooked up this LED in reverse. It's a, it's a standard LED with a, a resistor in it. Uh, and so I know that that this LED is is wired correctly. So what I've done is I've wired, uh, you know, I, I, the what's normally a ground is positive, and what's normally positive is a ground, and that's why I'm running this LED. So that worked. So for the next test, let's hook up a standard power pack that you'd get with uh, your you know any of your uh, iPhones to charge your iPhones with let's use a standard power pack that outputs 5.1 volts like we've seen and let's test to see if maybe we have a problem with this if one of our if we have a problem so what we're going to do is we're going to again just use this separate power pack battery power pack that you can commonly buy with this crossover cable with this standard USB uh, micro uh, cord that you can buy with Android and plug into this light so let's turn this let's turn this uh, on okay so it's we're successfully uh, turning on and running this setup this light the brightness is the same and it's running off of this standard power pack and uh, this kind of readily available inexpensive power pack um, and of course you you wouldn't this is just way too big but um, this would be an idea of we could you know get a smaller pack if we wanted to test a smaller pack if we wanted to test to see uh, how long um, we could run with a smaller power pack relative to this um, but that could be some of the testing we could do further and all you have to do is make this crossover cable here and you can do all this testing one odd thing I noticed about this test of course we're just testing now to, to see if this power pack is good and this light is good and um, this light is is good there's no problem with the light however it looks like some power packs with kind of a lot of intelligence in them might be testing to see if there's something connected all the time to know whether they need to shut themselves off and I'm getting this little blink 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 out of it <laughs> when this power packs off so I just wanted to let you know that this appears to be standard behavior and it probably is dependent on the intelligence of the power packs so a less intelligent power pack with that you know just with an on off switch would probably be uh, better the other thing you might have is a switch in line here where you could just switch on and off but um, this is a uh, kind of an inexpensive power pack and of course I think what I would recommend after you do your testing you just disconnect this and let's see let's see if I can get disconnected okay there it goes and yeah everything's fine so these are great cables this of course is a standard cable uh, just like uh, the one that charges an Android this is the light end of it and this is and these are real flexible and they straight they're long you know they have a very long life but they do wear out uh, and I guess they're around $65 but you know great cables they take a while to get so if what would happen if you had one of these fail um, and you, you needed to you know come up with something quickly uh, these aren't readily available the configuration here and this the pinout here is unknown um, so I haven't checked I haven't checked that out but it would be possible I guess to sever this end here and then put on one of these cable ends like here and then we could 
just have our have our it would kind of look like this without the crossover we don't we, we could just run our own um, we could make our own cable that would hook to a power pack and it would just require uh, two connections and you just have to make the connections right like I did here and it would involve purchasing um, you know something like something like these that are um, you know I got these on uh, eBay I believe um, not, yeah I could have got them on eBay I believe I did anyway they're readily available and um, ideally you do need a soldering iron which will cost you about eight bucks um, and then you need you know some solder and then you can kind of have your test setup uh, slash emergency setup and I think that could work for you now if we wanted to make this more permanent we could get some shrink tubing and put the shrink tubing over this assembly here and then just get a heat gun and just gonna get a heat gun and then put the heat gun on it okay, here's the final setup I've got the uh, crossover cable here with a heat shrink on it that's basically crossing plus five and minus uh, to, to feed into this light here with a standard uh, cable that's available on Android. And uh, you could get, for instance, a right angle connector here that would be similar to, to this, um, supposing you could get that if you needed an emergency setup last minute and here's roughly a here's a, a module that I have it's a it's an 18650 shield that that uh, just provides the same function as this although you know this is way better right higher quality way better but it just has a little light on it and so I can it just uh, illustrates the concept of having a power pack here if you needed to just uh, kind of throw something together in an emergency.